These people go absolutely crazy at Eli because he is filming them from outside of their shop. Hey guys and welcome back to Audit Rewind. If you're new to my channel, consider joining us by clicking that big red subscribe button down below and leaving a like on today's video to show your support. Thank you to everyone. Today we're going to be starting with a clip from Eli TV 2 I'll pop a link down below to his channel in the description. I'm going to be reacting to what happens here. It's a very crazy encounter where he seems to be outside of a store. I think it's like some kind of an estate agent. I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, Eli is stood on a public sidewalk. He's exercising his rights to film in public. These are his First Amendment rights, his freedom of press rights, and his plain view doctrine. And the managers and the employees are not happy that he is filming them while they work. So they call the police on him. Let's take a look and see what actually happens after this. What's this over here? I'm probably going to invite us in. How can I help you? How you doing, sir? Good. How can I help you? I'm good. I'm good. I don't need your help. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? A video. Okay. Why of me? Because you just came outside to talk to me. I see. Have a good day. You too, sir. Yo, make sure you don't touch me, bro. Huh? Make sure you don't touch me. No, just get that thing out of my face. Don't touch it. Huh? Or don't touch me. Huh? Alright? Get it up. No okay. touching. Don't get it out of my face. What? Come inside. For what? You invite him in? You invite him in? He's inviting us in. Invite him in. Invite him inside. Get the kid out of here. What is wrong with you, bro? Get off my face. Excuse me. Get the thing out of my face. So go back inside. Oh, he's coming in hot. The fan broke. Let me move back. Yo, move back. Move back. Move back. Move back. Move back. Move. What up? Not bad. How you doing? What's up? What's going on? Um, this guy over here is trying to assault me and my son, bro. Take care of it. Huh? Take care of it. Talk no, no, I just educate him. That's it. No big deal. You good though? Sort of, sort of, sort of. No, no, but I need to document. Make sure he don't lie. I need to document. I need to document. No, no, that's on him. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Right, He's getting worked up. I'm ten feet away right now. All right. All right. So keep doing your thing. Okay. Keep doing your thing. I'm making sure he don't lie to you. Go inside. Go back inside. I got your back. I got your back. You want no lies here. Documenting this for the matter. court, for court purposes. I'm saying, I'm going to put down what you say. Don't I got matter. you. I don't matter. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got to record it, though. I got to record it. Okay. For the court, for the prosecution. It's a verbal warning. If you go over there again... I've I'm never been there. I've never been there. I'm I've never been there. Telling. Keep your warning to yourself. All right, Keep it to I'm yourself. You. I don't need it. All right. I don't need it. No, no. He came outside. He's harassing us. Because I feel some type of way. He's trying to violate my... I don't care. I speak like that. You feel some type of way? Take the uniform off. I don't feel anyway. All right. He came outside. I'm, I'm in the sidewalk. No I'm in the sidewalk. Right, so you want to step over here and tell me what happened? I'm not telling you. Sh I've never been inside. So what's the problem? What's the problem? Who? Go. Keep it moving. Go get some criminals. You lucky as hell. I didn't smack you, bro. Move back. If he touches me, if he touches me or my property, if he touch, I'm no. I'm gonna smack the shit. Touches me on my property. If he's a threat to me or my property, I will defend myself. Did he touch you? He's about to. Did he touch you? Yes, about to. Did he touch you? Don't worry about that. I got this. Go get some criminals. Put him back in. Tell him that. Why you don't tell him about? Yo, take care, man. Be easy, man. It was a pleasure. No one's telling you you can't. But why you didn't tell him about our constitutional rights? No, I'm not saying. Why didn't you though? Why didn't you? Telling you if you step inside. Why you didn't tell him we have a constitutional right to record in public? Listen, Go tell him so he don't feel no type. All right. She said everybody knows him, my baby. She bugging. The guy that was working in here was clearly absolutely annoyed past any level that I'd ever understand. I don't get why he was so triggered. He looks like he was having a really bad day and decided to take it out on Eli just for he just for him filming. Initially, he came up to Eli in a manner that was just normal cordial and just respectful however when eli said you can't stop me from filming i'm allowed to do this the man proceeded to flip out of nowhere he then turned into basically an animal running around the place barging into him getting very close aggressive kind of what's even the word like edgy he was getting really weird and i don't know how he somehow thought that was going to scare Eli away and make him leave because when the police arrived one of the cops Eli knew from a previous interaction 
However, Eli still wasn't happy with how they didn't educate this man. Instead, they just gave him a useless directive saying, if you go back there again, then you hear the warning, like some nonsense, you know, which I don't agree with. So overall, I think that the cops could have done way better by educating this man about why Eli is allowed to do what he's doing. The Allen Report is a YouTube channel that recently did a First Amendment audit at a prison that I believe has been shut down. And obviously, they are just exercising their First Amendment constitutional rights and they are filming within publicly accessible areas. Getting some pretty interesting reactions here. Some of the people in this video don't think that they're allowed to film. So I wanted to take a look at this clip and see how people react and also give my opinions based on what I see in this clip. So yeah, like I said, uh, the workers here are probably gonna tell them that it's private property and that they can't film, therefore that they don't have their first amendment right. But I don't think I actually agree with that. So. Before we get started with this reaction, I'm going to pop a link down below to the Alan Report. I encourage all of you to go subscribe to their channel, show them some support for their First Amendment activism. And uh, yeah, I'll stop yapping and let's get into taking a look at what actually happens here. I don't think that you guys are supposed to be on property, just so you know. Is this state property? Yeah. Oh, no, no, then we can be here. It's cool. Oh, okay. Um... So I understand that. So the gentleman inside was telling us that there's no more prisoners here or whatever, but um, we still like we're still going to go inside in the publicly accessible area because this is still funded by the state. So just want to give you the heads up. Yeah, that's true. You'll have to check in. If you could stand right here, I'll find out for you. All right. Well, we already know, so we're going to go in regardless. Why you, why step outside. You no, no questions. Can you please step outside? You are on private property. Please step outside. This is private? Or? It's private property. Step outside. Well, that's what we're just trying to get some clarification. Step outside. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> yes. Is Wait. This, is this absolutely closed? Yes. No business here? No. Okay. So what are you guys doing here? You now? cannot, you cannot come in here. All right, we'll leave, but what? You guys, no, you guys need to step guys, outside. Guys. We're, leave, we're leaving, but uh, I'm just wondering again. Come we'll on, step off the property and you gotta shut the camera off. There's no video camera on state property. But, but this There's is no state video. property. This is state property. Yeah, so we can you come in here. You need permission, you need permission. You need permission. You From who? You gotta, so we can get the you permission. Go, you gotta call, call headquarters. But why are you being so pushy? I'm or, not, I'm just, <laughs> you guys gotta go. You guys gotta get out, you guys. Look, let's have a look. I've explained it, I've explained it a few times. Of course. I, 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 we we, ex we appreciate your explanation. I, I, just and just one last thing. If why is there so many employees here then? What are you guys doing here if it's closed? We're just a transportation unit. But if we, it's... We transport them around the state. That's, and that's fine. That's, it, guys, guys, you gotta go, okay? But if it's state property, we don't have to leave, man. You do. You do. It's, so, well, so if it's closed, why is it open to the public? It's not open to the public. So why, you, why do you keep the doors open? It's not until we get in our, our office. Oh, you guys gotta go. You gotta leave, please. All right, have I, a nice day, guys. I, 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 I appreciate guys. you being nice and, and Walk, agree. The same way you came off. This man with the cap, who I'm assuming is a supervisor, didn't want to ask, and ask, sorry, I mean answer any of their important questions. For example, when the Allen Report was saying, uh, is this open? Is it not a public area, a publicly accessible building? And then he just started saying, you gotta go, you gotta go. To every time they asked him a difficult question, they repeatedly said, you gotta go. And I think that was their way of avoiding the difficult question that the auditor was giving them, because if they actually answered the question, it would probably most likely, no, actually certainly be, yeah, you can come in and you can film. But they tried to say, because it's shut down, the reason everything's still open is they now function as a transportation unit. Uh, I don't know, they transport prisoners or do something like that relating to that. So they're trying to say that that's why the building's still open. However, they're also trying to say that it is actually now private property. So, hmm, what do you guys think? I don't agree with that. I think that the auditors are right, in my opinion. Up next, I'm going to be reacting to a video that I found on YouTube. I'll pop a link down below to this guy's channel so you guys can all go and support his activism and his work. This is going to be a audit next to a police car. 
The cops come out and say that he can't film the car and then they refuse to give him a card with their name and badge number. So I guess that's them refusing to ID and that's pretty unprofessional and not great. I mean, they're trying to tell him that he can't film the car, but then when he asks for their ID, it, for some reason they don't have to give it. So I don't know exactly what they're going to try and say here because this auditor has the First Amendment constitutional right. He stood in a public area, so everything he's filming is within plain view and those of you who are watching this channel have probably heard of plain view doctrine so you'll know or have read up on it so i fully support what this guy's doing however i still wanted to give like an unbiased reaction and criticism so i'm going to see what the cop actually has to say i'll pop a link down below to this guy's channel make sure you all go subscribe oh bl blimey i didn't realize there's like four or five cops this is going to be exciting Don't film me on my car. So film me, it's not on my car. Excuse me. Excuse What's me. What's your name and Presley, 9005. Step back. Thank you. Appreciate it. Six feet. Why are you stopping me from recording? Is it? You why are you recording my car? You must my video. You must my video. Okay, cool. Why are you recording my car? You can record me all you want. You yeah, don't record my too, car. You're coming too close, bro. Yeah, I'm not too close. You're too close. Look at... You don't record... You don't record the car. You bro. record me, not the car. All right, there's no reason to be recording my car. Put away from me, bro. There's no reason for you to be recording my car. It's all right. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, right, a, pub it's a public no, vehicle. Identify yourselves, all of you, please. Step out of the I, street. I please. Step out of the street. All right, all right. I'll step, step over, but I need, I need, I need to know who I'm speaking with. Do you have any pertinent reason why you're, you're a stranger to me? Unless you identify yourself, you, you have no any authority. Any reason why you're recording in our vehicle? Because I would like to. Okay, it's that's not a reason. To yes, it is. Our sure okay, it is. Sir. Okay, I gave you my name. No, you did not. Sergeant DeSantos, 52nd Please Precinct. do not touch me again. You have a good day. This is not you. Listen, that's my property. I don't need you to touch it. Have a good day, sir. That's a part of. Yo, dude, what are you doing? Bro, stop messing up the video, bro. Oh, wait, Max, Relax, on, man. Max, Yo, bro, on I'm on a public sidewalk, yeah, dog. You're on the public sidewalk. Not, you're touching our car. It's a public vehicle. No, it's not. You don't touch our... You got keys to it? It doesn't matter. You got keys to it. Bro, I could sit on the you car. I could touch the car. I could do whatever. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you bro, can't. relax, man. Just relax. It's just a video. It's just a video. Stop messing up the video, bro. Your no, bro. This is what I'm doing. I'm investigating. No, you're being an agitator. I'm investigating. I never talked to you. You came out here. You never even had to... Bro, give me a card. Give me a card. I don't have a card. Ask Why don't you have a card? It's a, it's a right to no act. You know that, right? We are around halfway through this clip that I'm reacting to, and I have to say that I do not agree with how the officer, like, at the middle, uh, halfway through the clip, was actually pointing and seemingly touching his camera. I think that that's just not allowed like it's outright illegal why is he doing that probably for some form of intimidation tactics that he knows maybe he thinks oh i can get away with this and if the guy does anything back we can just jump on him and arrest him i think that the auditor did a really good thing in this situation where he didn't react and instead just documented the whole thing and of course pointed it out he said you can't just do that you can't touch my camera it's my private property i'm not being searched i'm not detained and i'm not under arrest so he had a valid point, but it's good he didn't react because that might have been a tactic where the cops try and get him to react so they can just like throw him in handcuffs and in the back of the car that he was actually filming minutes prior. Let's keep watching and see what happens next. So far, I agree what, with the man filming and I don't understand what the cops are trying to say. Again, they're not really making much sense here. They don't have any grounds or any raz to do anything. Write it down somewhere. Bro, bro. No, no, no. I have to order new cards for the department because they supply us business cards. All right, but cards. I need you I to supply me on our paper. Our business cards, so I have to order some. I need you to supply with me. Supply. I need it. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's Presley. Yo, Only bro, Presley I'm hard department. of understanding. I need you to write it down so that I could go make a complaint on you. You heard? No, no, no. I need you to write it down. It's the right to know act. It's a law. It's going to be another part of your complaint. You understand that, right? Yo, it's going to be another part of your complaint, bro. Don't do that, bro. Write it down like you're supposed to. It's a policy, bro. Do it. Paper. It's a law. It's supposed. It's a law. This nigga right here. Yo, what's your name? What's your name? Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. Officer Bernard. Bernard, what's your badge number? Two one zero six seven. I'm not. Sorry, I'm, not I'm not in the street. I'm not in the street. Sorry, bro, relax. Now I'm asking for his name, bro. What's the lack? Can you yeah. say it again? I ain't catch it. This guy interrupted. Yo. Yo, come on, man. What? Yo, give me your card. Give me your card. Give me your card. I get your card, sir. I need your RCK card, please. I'm not even close to you, bro. Look. One second. One second. Stop getting all defensive, bro. No I, it's just a camera, bro. No all right. Give me one second. 
Right? I said to stop. And you I'm not, bro. Forward. I said to stop. I moved to the forward. side, bro. Relax. My door is open. I'm perfectly calm. All right. Don't, don't be scared of me. I don't, I don't have any weapons. Relax. Why are your hands shaking? Because you're a cop. And you're a what? A person like me. No, not exactly. Not exactly. There's a thin blue line between us. You know that, right? Yeah. The best thing that these cops could have done was actually allow the auditor to keep filming and to do what he was doing and then nothing would have happened. There would have been no arguments, no interactions. They wouldn't have had to violate his rights by touching his camera. They wouldn't have had to make themselves look silly on the video. And they probably wouldn't have had to identify themselves because if they didn't go up to him, I doubt he would go up to them. After all of this, he wasn't doing anything wrong. And to try and say that he could be acting suspicious or that he could be trying to break into the car or steal something, that's just overreaching. That has no basis or grounds. I think that most cops really don't like it when people go near their cars for whatever reason, whether they get possessive over the cars or whether they're actually told that people might try and steal stuff or break into it. Again, like I said, people who carjack police cars are like a, they're not even a 1%, they're like a 0.00 something percent. So the probability of that happening is very low and it's coming from a guy who is doing a First Amendment audit and is out in the open during broad daylight, not on the run from anyone, that's even more unlikely. So it's probably like 0.0000 something percent. So again, they have no grounds or no reasonable suspicion that they can articulate. So right now, it just made them look silly and the auditor basically owned them. So go subscribe his channel, link down below. If I Cyril Khan was doing an audit in the public health building when he came across a security guard who was very concerned as to why he was holding a camera inside of the building. Now this security officer once again proceeds to say that he cannot film and he doesn't know why he's filming so he tries to ask him questions and ascertain what's actually going on. I get the vibes that this security guard has never seen an auditor in this building before on his shift. This is because he acts very confused. He looks hesitant and he doesn't really know how to deal with Surreal Cam and how to, I don't know, like treat him. Because on one hand, he might want to try and say, get out or you're trespassed. Or on the other hand, he might want to try and ask more questions and actually see what it is that the auditor wants to achieve. So let's see what happens if they kick him out, if they call the police or if they actually allow him to film and try and, you know, accommodate what he's doing. Probably not, but it's worth a watch. I'm going to react to what happens and I'll pop a link down below to the original so you guys can all go subscribe down below. If I work here? No. No, because you entered the fuel me, anything. Yeah, I'm filming. For what? For me. Why? No, you do not here. No, why is that? Hmm? Why is that? Why not? Um, who are you? If your supervisor are you, see you. You have the problem for it with you. Who are you? Hmm? Who are you? I'm all here. You work here? Yeah. Oh, what do you do here? Hmm? What do you do here? What do you do here? I'm work security. Security? Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice to meet you. I'm just taking some pictures. Hmm? I'm just taking some pictures. Picture? Video. Yeah. No, 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 no. No? No. What do you mean? I can't do that? No. Why not? Is it illegal? You can do you can do that the anything. No? No. Oh. Why is this is this private? Hmm? Is this a private building? Is it a private building? But it's not private. But you oh. can talk it's public? with somebody. It's public? It's a public building? Hmm? Is it is it a public building? No. So it's not private or it's not public? Hmm? It's not private and it's not public? It's, it's not, it's public, but okay. you can you can uh, talk with, con, with somebody. Who? Huh? Who do I need to talk to? The supervisor. What, what's the name? Um, Domingue. All right. All right, that's fine. If the supervisor wants to come talk to me, they can come talk to me. I'm just gonna take some video. That's it. Pretty cool. No, 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 no. Yeah. Why do you keep saying no? What's that for? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do you keep saying? I don't want to get in trouble. You can help though. 
Ah, por allá. No, 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 Mm -hmm. I don't think I have to ask for permission. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Okay, I don't mean to be nasty in any way, but there are two main points I wanted to bring up about this video. Number one, the guy seems to be saying what an awful lot, meaning that he probably has issues with understanding the language. This is something that is common all around the world in security jobs. A lot of people go into the job from other nationalities and aren't too good at speaking English. They don't have it as their first language, but a security job would be important to know English well because of what you would need to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Secondly, the security guard just starts laughing at him at the end as if he thinks that it's all a joke and a prank that's very unprofessional and it shows that he genuinely doesn't have a clue what surreal cam is actually doing here and that he is there to exercise his first amendment constitutional rights surreal cam lowered his voice he was very calm and very peaceful towards the guard which was good to see because you can't really argue with this guy he's probably going to like grab you or you know um, want you to start arguing get aggressive because on his security course that's how he would have been trained to deal with people is people who are aggressive people who are stealing and being disorderly he would have been trained to deal with those people so because surreal cam stayed calm and asked him questions he just kept going hmm 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 and then just laughed at the end because he had no idea what he was doing so yeah Next up, we got an interaction that good guy activism had with a police officer. Now, this officer was called to a post office where good guy was doing a First Amendment audit. He went in and he was actually approached by some of the staff. Obviously, they didn't understand what he was doing. They asked him if he could stop filming. They didn't feel comfortable. It's all the usual guys. And most of the time, the employees in these post offices don't actually know what they're talking about and they actually think that the auditor is somehow breaking the law. Well, I haven't seen this part. I only watched the post office part, but I thought I would react to the part where the officer turns up because I wanted to see what he has to say and whether he says that good guy's allowed to film and has his first amendment or whether he somehow isn't and maybe the officer will side with a policy. Let's hope that doesn't happen, but you know, sometimes it does and later, it, recently it has been happening more commonly so let's get started and i'll pop a link down below to good guy activism the other one causing a commotion inside? i i wouldn't say i'm causing a commotion can i just get your name and badge them so i can know i spoke with my badge is number four. Oh, cool. my name is officer roberts how you doing officer how are you you want to come up the street i don't want you to stand no, in the street i'm, I'm, I'm safe here I'm okay just I just, uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Can you explain to me a little bit what's Basically, going on? Basically, these people are ignorant. Mm -hmm. Not ignorant as in like yeah. rude ignorant, but they, they were kind of rude. They just don't know the rules. Okay. I literally just came from a federal building and had a long conversation with a federal officer yes, sir. that told me that I can record in that federal building. I have the right to record it. Any, the Department of Homeland Security put out a memo in 2018 that the citizens have the right to record in or outside of any federal building. Okay. I'm trying to inform these people. They have something on their wall called Poster 7, which is the rules and regulations and conduct on postal property. Okay. And it specifically gives us the right to record. Okay. And I'm trying to teach, I'm trying to say, sir, if I could show you the rules on the wall, he's like, no, 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 I'm just call the cops. I'm like, then we're all going to get educated today because... I'm not, I came here to get some applications. Okay. And I, the lady's like, I don't want to, I don't want to help you because you're recording. Okay. I'm like, ma'am, I have the right to record. This is a, a federal building. It's open to the public. So I was just trying to, you know, educate what, what them. What was the application for that you want for employment? I wanted a, um, what's it called? The passport. Okay. And I wanted the PO box. Okay. And the lady. 
I'll be honest, I'm actually kind of surprised that this officer is listening to Good Guy. He's asking him questions. Good Guy's made it very clear and he's kind of put the officer in a corner because the officer now has been put on his oath. Not directly, but kind of indirectly because Good Guy said that he has the rights to do that and he is simply just trying to request some information. Now that the officer realizes this, he's actually going to try and ask him what information he needs, which is actually a really good thing to do. In my opinion, the officer's doing the right thing so far. So far in all capitals, because it could be about to go really, really wrong. And I don't know exactly where this is going, because as I said, I haven't seen this audit before in my life. So the officer can either go in and help him with the information, he can go in and educate the post office employees, or he can try and, you know, obviously say no. And that would probably be violating good guy's First Amendment rights. So hopefully this guy's an experienced officer and knows his oath to the Constitution. So let's see if that happens. When a service me, the supervisor came up, mm -hmm. which I would assume he's more informed of the rules, mm -hmm. which he wasn't. Mm -hmm. I was surprised because how are you supervising? You don't know your own rules. He's like, oh, you can't record it. I'm respectfully telling him, sir, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Please call your postmaster. Okay. No, no, I'm just going to call the police. And I okay. said, fine, then I'll stick around because I would have left. I would have been yeah. left. I'm sure you would have. Yeah, I would have. And, uh, I only but came but for two you can understand if they didn't know the rules that they are it's concerned. It's fine. And, obviously. I, and, I, and listen, I'm not committing any crime, yeah. so there's no reason to run or hide. Yeah. I I like no, good you, cops. You yeah. seem very cordial, yeah. and I appreciate that. You know. Okay. I respect that you took your oath to the Constitution. This is the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. What? Else? So, how can I say this? Uh, this is a Constitution protected activity. I have the right to record, and I'm trying to educate these people. But they'd rather stay in the ignorance, okay. you know. So they, that's what they called you. Okay. If so I can what, show you the the rules, is it on the wall? It's yes, on the it wall. It's on I'll, the, I'll look at it. It's on later. the wall. It doesn't have to be. Uh, it's on uh, the wall of every post office yeah. in America. It's on the wall of every. I, I don't. Building. I don't go in them very often, so I I can tell you that I probably have not seen it. But I don't. And, and I, I don't think doubt that, that you that it's there because you say it was there, and I assume you looked at it today. Yeah, I did. I put it on camera. Everything's on camera. Okay. And. Honestly, like, I don't, I don't know. I if just let him. Let me uh, just tell him I'm, I haven't checked. Four quarters. We're having a discussion. Uh, and bye bye. Just like, which just means that it's everything's okay. okay. I mean, it is. I told him, I said, sir, you're wasting resources. Yeah. There's crimes that are possibly being committed. You're taking the officer from stopping crimes and catching criminals to come with a guy with a camera. But if they need to be educated, then I guess they need to be educated. So. Okay. Uh, nothing happened inside, though, no. correct? No. Uh, it's just that you had a discussion and they... And I was I was, yeah. I was extremely yeah. respectful to them. And I was like, sir, if I could just show you before the officer comes, mm -hmm. I would like to show you your rules. Okay. No, no, no. It's okay. Where is it, uh, the thing that you want them to look at? Is it if, I can go inside and, and show you. No, you know. that's all right. Just, just, I can find it, I'm sure. It's located in the outer lobby here. As soon as you come in, you make a left? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm all free right. to go inside, right? Because there's still some I, I haven't flight. been inside. I haven't talked to anybody. I don't okay. know if anything else happened inside. I'm just, well, I, I was, know. I was, as they told you, I was asked to come over here mm -hmm. because they were just, uh, just, not understanding what was going on, right, I guess, right. is really what I I'm just saying. came here to get some applications. Yeah. And the lady wanted to service me because I was recording. Okay. So I was trying to educate her. She wasn't open-minded to the okay. education. Okay. The supervisor came. He wasn't, he was ignorant to the rules. Okay. He wasn't open-minded to education. Okay. So that's why I'm here. So maybe okay. you can inform them. Maybe you can have him look at his rules. I, I will ask him uh, to take a look at it. Uh, There's a couple more flyers that I want to grab on the inside. Okay. So... Why don't, why don't you let me go in and talk to him for a moment? Who, was it a, a gentleman? Or got, is it, if it's, if I have no malicious intent. I'm not here to cause no trouble. Yeah. So if I could be there when you speak with him, yeah. that would be well, great. There's an officer here to believe what you're saying. I'm just saying that you, I mean, you uh, took they're, they're under, they, they, of course, are concerned when they see somebody and they don't understand what's going you on. You know what it is? What's the that? bottom line is that they're misinformed. And it's sad because they should know their own rules. Yeah. You would know the First Amendment because you took an oath to the First Amendment. You know that I could record in public. I could stand here all day and record because I'm on a public sidewalk. You know? I haven't see... asked you to shut it off, did I? No, 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 no. that's why I'm agreeing. That's no, why I'm I, acknowledging I, that you I, do know. Not, not at all. 
Howard. Yeah, you're yeah. extremely cordial. You didn't. Do, you're, you're not rude at all. Yeah. I would hope that. I would hope not. I mean, anybody can be. I'm surprised you don't have strikes on your arm. Well, you you deserve you it, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're extremely sure cordial. That. Everything's fine. Thanks. Yeah. I'm a dead end here. I'm sorry. The sun is trying to shine through on us. Look at this guy. HP6. It appears as though you did get some applications, correct? Yeah, did I they, did. They, yeah, they, I did. But the only reason why I stood around is because they called the police. Okay. I would have been Oh, left. you were going to... Yeah, leaving. I was leaving. I told him I'm just here okay. for some applications and I'm going to leave. Okay. This video is way too long to feature on this reaction show. So I'm going to leave a link down below if you want to find out exactly what happened. But this far in the video, I have to say that the officer was really professional, really respectful and was actually doing the right thing. However, the bit I don't quite understand is why he got the female officer to come and got her to go in there and discuss what was going on. Because when I saw that happening, I got kind of worried that she would actually go against good guy and would listen to the post office employees in their ignorance. If this man had gone in, then it probably would have been different, a different story. But as I said, I haven't watched the full audit, so if you guys want to watch the full audit, I'll leave a link down below. I'm sorry, yes, I'm ruining the ending. I know I do, I do apologize, but it's like a, I think a 20 or 30 minute video. So I just can't feature that in the whole reaction show. That would be silly. So yeah, I think that this officer here is doing so far a good job, but if you want to see what happens next, go click the link down below in the description box. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. This is Audit Rewind. Here in this channel, I rewind and react to audit moments and police encounters. Please leave a like on today's video to show your support and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Stay safe.